Let's have a look at how to use matrix inversion to solve a system of equations. And the first thing we need to do is set up the relevant equations in matrix form. That is, we're going to write the equations here in the form AX equal to B. And in this case our equations are X1 plus 7X2 equals 11, 2X1 plus 16X2 equals 26. So matrix A on the left is actually the coefficients of our unknowns x1 and x2. So in the first equation we have 1x1 plus 7x2. The second equation is 2x1 plus 16x2. Hence here this is the matrix A. While matrix X is a column vector or column matrix of the unknowns. And here from left to right the unknowns are x1, x2. So those go x1 first, x2 second in the column vector x. And the matrix B on the right hand side of this equation is a column vector of the constants. So that means that before doing this it's always important to make sure the unknowns are all on the left hand side of your equation and the constants on the right. And we can see this is now in the required form AX equal to B where we're wanting to solve for the matrix of unknowns X. And to see how to do this we could start by pre-multiplying both sides of this equation by A inverse. From there A inverse A is always equal to the identity matrix I so the left hand side of that becomes IX equal to A inverse B and the identity matrix times any matrix of the appropriate order is just equal to that matrix. So therefore to solve for our matrix X we need to find A inverse times B. Hence in this case we need to find X1, X2 is equal to 1, 7, 2, 16 the inverse of that matrix times the matrix 11, 26. So before we do this let's review how we find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. And if we have a matrix 2 by 2 matrix M of general form A, B, C, D then the inverse matrix M inverse is equal to 1 divided by the determinant of M which is 1 divided by the product AD minus BC and then inside that matrix the elements A and D swap places and the elements B and C change sign and that is how we work out the inverse of matrix M. Applying this back to our example we wanted to find the inverse of this matrix so that's going to be 1 divided by the determinant of this matrix which again is 1 times 16 minus 7 times 2 and then the associated matrix part of this is then 16 1 with those elements swapping places and the 7 and the 2 change sign to give negative 7 negative 2 and this just becomes a half times 16, negative 7, negative 2, 1. Which would simplify further to just give us 8, negative 7 divided by 2, negative 1, a half. So returning to what we were solving for, which was x equal to a inverse b, putting in the values of the inverse matrix we just worked out, that will be multiplied by the column vector 1126 which for the first element of this resulting matrix will be going along the first row of this matrix and the first column of that one to give 8 times 11 minus 7 on 2 times 26 while the second element of this will be negative 1 times 11 plus a half times 26 and so therefore that's telling us that our column vector x1, x2 that becomes 88 minus 91 and on the second part of this negative 11 plus 13 giving us negative 3, 2. 
Hence, reading this off directly, we can see now that x1 is equal to negative 3, x2 is equal to 2. So that is the solution to our system of equations solved using matrix inversion.